we have entered into the age of the Holy Ghost worshiper. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraught. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here, and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. I have something for you tonight. I came with it, and now you're going to get it. If you can hear it, it will go down into you and make a change. A lot of people don't like change. Well, that's too bad. There are people in this room now that weren't in this room before. What room, you say? The room of Holy Ghost worship. There are people in here, meaning they worship the Holy Ghost now and they didn't before, and they enter into a room that they weren't in before. Does this make sense? It's to you that I speak. We, they we, we, we have entered into the age of the Holy Ghost worshiper. Who did? We did. We who worship the Holy Ghost have entered into the age of the Holy Ghost worshiper. Holy Ghost worshiping is therefore required to enter into this age enter into this place does that make sense yep. say it's required. it's required if you don't do it you can't participate in this sorry this is your age this is your time say this is my age this is my, age. This is my, time. This is my time can you sense that You've come into it. Mm -hmm. This is new. I'm here. Say, this is new. This is new. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> Holy Ghost worship, worshiping the Holy Ghost is mandatory if you're in here. Frankly, you didn't get in here without it. So, if you're in here, how far are you willing to go? It's a question. How far are you willing to go? Because if you look around in this room, it's infinite. There are no impossibilities for you in this room. Get used to it. Say, no impossibilities, no impossibilities. for me. Okay. Limitless. God the Holy Ghost has taken the limits off can you hear that mm -hmm. and some in here will pursue on to greatness say pursue, pursue. On, on to greatness. greatness others not so much there will be giants in the land men and women of renown the question is will you be one of them it's your choice god is not the one holding back on you he's the one who opened the door to greatness and opened the door with no limits are you here mm -hmm. listen to me this is the next great thing say this, this is, is the next, next great, great thing. thing or as i like to call it the ngt <laughs> the next great thing say i'm part of the next great thing i'm part of the next great thing have you heard of the glorious church mm -hmm. there's supposed to be a glorious church we've all heard of the glorious church but didn't somehow know how to get there this is the way 
walk ye in it worshiping the Holy Ghost takes you there see Jesus returns for a glorious church this is straight-up Bible people Jesus returns for a glorious church say Jesus returns, Jesus returns. See, I wouldn't get kicked out of most churches if I just stayed there that Jesus returns but the fact is if Jesus returns that means mm -hmm. Jesus isn't here now that's what gets you kicked out you can't have it both ways Jesus is not here at least the real Jesus the one that was raised that rose from the dead and is seated at the right hand of the Father and sent the Holy Ghost the real Jesus he's not here now 2nd Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 6 therefore we are always confident brother you're so confident always we are always confident knowing that are you ready whilst we are at home in the body we are absent from the Lord do you be home in the body right now this means if you're in your physical body Shay, if I'm in my physical body, right? If you're in your physical body, you are scripturally absent from the Lord, right? Yep. For we walk by faith and not by sight. Verse 8 We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. So if you've left your body or your body died or you've gone on mm -hmm. in one way or another, then you're present with the Lord who is in heaven are you here yes but if you are in your body we can conclude you are absent from the Lord or the Lord is absent from you or Jesus is not present with you he's absent from you mm -hmm. if I'm looking at your physical body Jesus is absent from you get mad at this not me are you here yeah. but you're not alone he sent someone to be with you Amen. who's his name the holy, the holy ghost i'm confident i say jesus is not present with you get it straight he's not presently with you maybe that maybe that helps he is not presently with you unless you are actually not here you've gone on mm -hmm. it's just you and the Holy Ghost get that straight most people don't have it straight the Holy Ghost is the one say one, one. that Jesus sent to be with you and he is here in the earth now if you're gonna walk with God you will be walking with the one the Holy Ghost the one and only Holy Ghost what more do you need he's all you need the reason you don't think that he's enough or you think that you need something else is because you don't know him as God but if you worshiped him you'd know him as God in fact the worship of him causes you to know him as God in a way that you've never known him before I'll repeat it's just you and the Holy Ghost in the earth fulfilling scripture make it work so this is you, you you've been left here in in the earth Jesus left you he went to heaven he sat down but he sent the Holy Ghost now it's you and the Holy Ghost make it work say make it work make it work Matthew chapter 12 verse 33 either make the tree good say make the tree, make the tree. either make the tree good and his fruit good or else make the tree corrupt and his fruit corrupt for the tree is known by his fruit who makes it that way you makes it that way make 
the tree good is healing good yes. is prosperity good yes. is youth renewal good yes. make the tree good verse 34 oh generation of vipers how can you being evil speak good things he's talking about how do you make it good is by speaking good things for out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks verse 35 a good man out of the good treasure of his heart what brings forth good things mm -hmm. speaks them an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart brings forth evil things verse 36 but i say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment 37 for by thy words thou shalt be justified and by thy words thou shalt be condemned what are you justified or condemned by your, word word. your words make it so make the tree good make the tree healed make the tree prosperous make the tree youth renewed you're the tree and how do you make it by speaking words that aren't idle are you here you ever heard of force growing something or forcing a plant to produce to, to produce flowers didn't want to but you forced it mm -hmm. you're making it do something verse 36 says every idle word spoken you would have to give an account for why didn't he say every unidle word you'd have to give an account for because the unidle word uh counts say uh, uh counts, counts. The, every unidle word meaning it's productive it counts every word that's not idle counts speaking in agreement with god is not speaking idle words speaking in agreement with god the holy ghost is how you make or force it the tree to produce it's how you make your life count say this is, this is the righteousness of god, righteousness of god. what speaking mm -hmm. speaking his words it's how god does things have you been here enough to know that mm -hmm. how does god do things how did he do it in the beginning mm -hmm. jazz hands no. no he spoke words then he made you in your in his image how are you supposed to do things mm -hmm. speak words and that's how god is righteous that's the righteousness of god this is exactly how god does everything and you are walking with him him who him god the holy ghost in the earth you walk with him by speaking in agreement with his words have i ever said that maybe it's just so plain that people don't get it can't be that simple oh it be isaiah 55 verse 11 so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth it shall not return to me void or idle right yep. but it shall accomplish it shall produce it shall make it shall accomplish that which i please and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto i sent it that's how god does it that's how you do it if you're walking with him we might want it some other way but that some other way doesn't work so shall my word be it shall accomplish it shall make happen it shall come to pass it shall force it to be so god calls this righteousness isaiah 45 verse 23 says i have sworn by myself the word is gone out of my mouth in righteousness 
the word goes out of his mouth in righteousness righteousness is something that goes out of your mouth didn't we see that before what are you judged by your words some what are words something that goes out of your mouth righteousness is something spoken oh i hope you heard that say it righteousness, righteousness. is something, is something. Spoken. spoken god calls it righteousness the word went out of my mouth in righteousness mm -hmm. isaiah 45 verse 19 i have not spoken in secret in a dark place of the earth i the lord speak righteousness well if he the lord speak righteousness mm -hmm. then righteousness has to be something that said are you here yeah. now since we're in chapter 45 let's do a quick aside if you don't mind we're here mm -hmm. isaiah chapter 45 and verse 5 i am the lord there is none else there is no god besides me now i've said this before when the holy ghost came into the earth could he stand up Je remember jesus is at the father's right hand he was just sent on the day of pentecost from the father and jesus into the earth he came into the earth on the day of pentecost are we still here mm -hmm. is this too difficult could he have stood up as god and looked around and said i see no other god in the earth besides me would that be true yes i am the lord there is none else there is no god besides me verse 7 you ready for this i don't know that you are but we'll try it anyway verse 7 i form the light and create darkness say i form the light, I form the light and, create and create darkness now a lot of people get all tripped up over this go god is making light and then he's creating darkness now he did, the the creation of darkness is a function of having light when something is so light the darkness becomes apparent mm -hmm. remember in the beginning believe it's genesis chapter 1 verse 4 he said let there be light there was light and then he divided the light from the darkness he never said let there be darkness he didn't create darkness in the sense of the word create it yeah. but the fact that you're creating light makes darkness he formed light do that he formed light and it created darkness are you here i form the light and create darkness well as your righteousness increases so does the light in your life and on your life as your righteousness increases so does the light isaiah 60 verse 1 arise and shine for thy light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon thee we got that look at the next verse for behold the darkness shall cover the earth the darkness came after the light are you here mm -hmm. you think it's dark now wait till we start shining more you think it's dark now we are going to make it really dark i form the light and create darkness we're entering in a new age and a new day i have a lot more to say on this i can't get into it today we will walk on flames of fire and speaking the word blows on the embers of it till the present day such wisdom has never been given by the lord of spirits and use of the words i worship you holy ghost is a wisdom wisdom is knowledge acted upon 
when you have the knowledge of the words i worship you holy ghost and you act upon them that is wisdom and you enter into something new something divine that you never had before there are people in this room now a growing population of God pleasers in our day now that you're here how far are you willing to go when this is over we end up owning it all Holy Ghost I thank you for the blessing that you put on people right now and their ears being opened I ask you to seal them so they never go back to the old way let them go forward into the new room of worshiping you and be a part of this next great thing we thank you for it holy ghost in jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost, holy ghost you are the god living god you give me richly all things to enjoy and I enjoy them in Jesus' name. Amen. The Father is in heaven. Jesus at his right.